Hi, I'm Will from Exoneering, and today I'm going to show you how to install your Shock Sims Bypass Kit on your Ford Mustang. So I'm going to go ahead, break the lugs, get the vehicle jacked up, safe and secure. So we're starting with our ride height simulators here. The actuator is at the back of the wheel well. Unplug that. Get our simulator in. And zip tie it away from anything moving or hot. Do that with all the simulators that we're installing today. We'll move to the back of the vehicle. Get the wheel all the way. This location is a little tricky to get to, but pretty much at the base of the spring seat for the lower control arm, you're going to see an actuator arm and then the connector going into the actual sensor. So coming from the top of the wheel well, looking down inside, I'm going to take your simulator, laying on your back, and unplug the vehicle harness from the sensor and plug our simulator in. Again, zip tying away from anything moving or hot with a tablet style scanner or anything equivalent, navigate to your suspension icon and perform a ride height calibration. This is required as it will limit the amount of electrical current going to the shock simulators we're installing next. your way back to the front of the vehicle and install your shock simulator. This is going to be at the base of the coilover in the front. Push that into your a click and zip tie away from anything moving or hot. In the rear, it's going to be at the top of the shock. Remove that, plug it into your a click, and zip tie away from anything moving or hot. And that's it. Follow us on Instagram at Exoneering and don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment or shoot us an email at exoneering at gmail.com. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.